Well, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the back end and the, the reasons for what I'm going to explain. There are various stages in players' development, whether the basic, whether the junior intermediate, whether the senior county, or whether they're excellence. The most important thing is the control. And I'm going to emphasize the wrist and how breaking the wrist out of its stationary position can spoil the consistency of a rally lead to disinterested table tennis players they don't achieve what they want to achieve and consequently they get a little bit disenchanted with the game and consequently could possibly leave it before they realize the full potential so the first thing i'm going to talk about is the importance of the wrist and the bat starting position we need to make sure that we don't break this wrist at all we use the upper arm from the elbow to the bat and to lever it into position so the bat is square behind the ball. The bottom of the bat should be round about the table level. So when the opponent is playing the ball to me or us, all we have to do when they play the stroke is bring the bat up to meet the contact of the ball and keep it going up in the same line so that it doesn't go outside with body width and it doesn't go up over face height. That retains the right angle in the bat arm and through that we should be able to maintain uh, as much consistency in the ball as we possibly can. We're not trying to hit the ball hard at this stage, all we're concentrating on the action and the technique and the consistency of the stroke to eliminate the amount of errors that we can possibly do. That will lead to more consistency in the rallies, we'll get more enjoyment into the game and then we'll soon realise the potential that we're capable of. Let's have a note, let's have a look at the stroke. So we bring the bat down when the ball's in the air from me to my opponent. By the time my, the opponent is hitting the ball to me, my bat is in its position. It can only go one way then. It can come up to meet the ball and it can go up to release the ball. When it goes up to release the ball, that's what gives it topspin without trying to use the wrist to give it topspin. This is called a drive, not a topspin drive. It is based on control the ball all the time. So what I want to do when I coach players at basic levels is to make sure that they can achieve this simple task without making any errors whatsoever. Yes, they will make them, but they'll be few and far between. All my main concern is at the stage of coaching is to emphasize the point that I don't want our players to lose the point. I want to make sure that we keep the ball in play all the time. Once we do this over and over again, we'll get the confidence of the technique. We're building in the technique within our brain and subconsciously, through the amount of practice we will do, the ball will automatically start to go faster. When it starts to go faster, the ball will, should be and could be lower in the bounce to my bat. So consequently, I'm hitting it in a lower position. Again, the ball's not going to get under my bat because it's at its base level when I play the stroke. All I have to do is concentrate on keeping the bat in its position till the ball comes to me. I'm not reaching for it. I do not want to reach for the ball. If I reach for the ball, the shoulder pushes the arm out and it alters the bat angle. I don't want to do that if I'm blocking or driving the ball. I want to keep the shoulder down so it keeps the arm in its position, it keeps the bat angle closed and consequently when it comes up it automatically gives it top spin without trying to give it any spin. So the main emphasis again, just to recap, is to make sure the bat is in its position before the ball comes to me. I have got a lot of time to get that bat in position even though the ball may be going fast to each other. We want to make sure that the ball is returned with the simplest amount of movement that there is. Very, very little shoulder comes into it and hardly any wrist at all is being used within the stroke. My main emphasis again is to make sure the bat is in its position waiting for the ball to come to me and I do not want to make an error in this stroke. So if I don't make a lot of errors in the backhand then the opponent then is not going to get any free points against me. So they're going to have to try and win it. And if I get my technique right and concentration right and my angle right then I just need to keep returning the ball over and over again until my confidence comes up that I can go a little bit quicker and win the point. 